Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we're going to do some oracle, and then we'll get into the tarot reading, okay? So, Gemini... I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to quit smoking, so just bear with me, okay? So, Gemini... I feel that someone here doesn't want to call attention to something, okay? Like someone here wants to take a risk, but they don't want to be seen. They want to make sure that no one finds out because they don't know if it's going to work, okay? Someone here has no idea if whatever they're up to is going to actually be, you know, successful, right? Um, I feel like someone here is making a decision to communicate with either an ex or a past person or a family member or, or something of the like. Um, someone here basically doesn't want something to end. But at the same time, someone here doesn't want to tell anyone about this. Like, let's just say, Gemini you want to contact, uh, uh, you know, an ex, right? You're not going to tell your friends. You're not going to tell your family. You're not going to tell anybody because you're not sure how this is going to go. Okay. Um, or, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you don't want to, <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'm feeling. I feel like, you know, someone's making a final decision to go ahead and do something, but they don't want to tell people about it. You know, maybe they don't want to disappoint people or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? There may be children involved and someone doesn't want to tell the kids, let's just say type of thing, right? Um, so that's what I got in the channeled messages. Someone doesn't want something to end. They don't want to lose a family member or an ex or, you know, they, they don't want to lose somebody. But at the same time, they're not going to go public with telling people that they're trying to pursue the connection. Okay. Okay, so let's pull some Oracle here for Gemini. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Geminis, please. What do we have here for Gemini? Emotions are running high and prosperity lies ahead. So I feel like someone here is in their feelings about this Gemini. I feel like someone's very nervous, very anxious, like, emo you know, someone here um, with prosperity lies ahead and look at the bigger picture and have faith in your dreams. I feel like someone's in this energy of what if I get it rejected? What if something goes wrong? But what if everything goes right. You know what I'm saying? What if, you know what I'm saying? Um, what if everything works out? How awesome would that be? Right? So let's see what we have here. Tell me about Gemini, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Now, Gemini, this could be someone coming towards you. Like they're coming to talk to you, but they don't want anyone to know that you guys are talking. Like they don't, you know, they haven't told anybody. So we've got envy and strategy and victory. This is interesting. Gemini, someone here, someone here is not telling people about this because they don't want their plan to be jinxed. They don't, you know, someone here wants success in this and they don't want their plans to be jinxed. They, they don't want people that maybe don't like this person or this connection. Um, yeah, someone here, <coughs> someone here wants something to happen, but they don't want like evil eye on it or jinx. They, they don't want, um, they don't want anyone knowing about it because they don't want anyone, they don't want anything to affect the outcome. Tell me about this, please, Spirit. Tell me about Gemini.
I don't know if I want to take this or not. I feel like someone here wants to move towards somebody. They want to heal something. There's still love there. But with playing it safe, again, they're not telling anybody because they don't, it's like they don't want anyone to jinx this almost. Yeah, it's like they don't want anyone to jinx this. They, someone's keeping it to themselves. Tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini. Okay. So we have, interesting, cassette in the reverse. Replaying events over in your head, outdated thinking and condi conditioning. I feel like somebody is tired of playing it out in their head. They just want to go ahead and do it, okay? With clock, needs time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal in progress. I feel like someone is saying there enough time has passed where I'm sure the situation is healed. With mirror here, we've got marrying each other, self-image relationship reflects our wounds and introspection. Um, I feel like in this situation, both people got hurt, but I feel like one person is saying, you know what, I'm tired of thinking about this. Enough time has passed. I miss this person. I wanna come in and say something, you know? I wanna come in and say something, but someone's also, of an energy of, I don't know if that person has healed yet. I don't know if we're on the same page. Um, Spirit, tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. So we've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations in the reverse. We've got flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. And we've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So I feel that <coughs> someone here has been flirting with other people, but there hasn't been anything solid. Like someone here hasn't ever had those heart to hearts or someone here hasn't truly opened their heart to anyone else. It's just been flirtatious energies. Someone has consistently maintained that soulmate connection with this past person. And that's why someone I feel is feeling like, you know, yeah, people come, people go, but there's nobody like this person you know what i'm saying so i want to go back and, and put my toe in there and test the waters and see what's going on with them but i'm not going to tell anybody just in case it doesn't work out okay um so let's see here tell me about gemini please spirit tell me about gemini sun moon rising venus what does gemini need to know today please spirit what does gemini need to know today please spirit what does gemini need to know today please spirit what does gemini need to know okay so we've got the ace of wands we have the eight of wands we have the two of swords and we have the sun leo energy under the deck the three of pentacles the five of cups the five of swords okay so gemini obviously communication is coming in okay you haven't spoken to this person in a while obviously someone really wants to talk you may get a long letter from somebody you know what i'm saying someone here wants to communicate with the two of swords and the sun card um I feel like someone here needs to make a difficult decision as to whether or not they want to heal the situation or to trust this person as to whether um, someone is telling the truth or not. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Swords, I feel like someone might be apologizing that they didn't try harder or didn't work as a team, that somebody here consistently sabotaged the connection or tried to one-up somebody or wanted to win at all costs regardless of the price of things, you know what I'm saying? So I feel hear that um you know someone is just basically coming in to apologize for you know being a butthead okay let's see here clarity guidance love messages for my gemini's please tell me about gemini tell me about this ace of wands five of cups there's a there's a letter or messages coming in of tremendous regret and pain and sorrow mourning eight of wands here for gemini and the ten of wands in the reverse there's going to be conversations or communication happening here of i'm sorry i gave up on the connection i'm sorry i let go so quickly tell me about the two of swords here queen of cups in the reverse tell me about the sun card here and the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy 
So I feel like someone here isn't sure if they should let someone in because this person has been known to be emotionally manipulative. They've been known to, you know what I'm saying, um, lie or be noncommittal or go back on their word. So someone here has seen this side. <laughs> the truth. God bless me. The truth. Okay. So someone, I mean, this, this apology, apology seems to be coming in, seems to be genuine, but the person on this side is like, yeah, that sounds really great, but I've also seen another side of you. I know what you're capable of, you know? Oh, I have to sneeze, but I lost it. I lost it. Okay. So someone's like, you know, I know what you're capable of. I mean, the apology, this conversation is all fine and dandy, but do I really want to trust you again? No, 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 no. You know, I don't know. Um, tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Four of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Interesting. So I feel like the person on this side, Gemini, I feel like something here never ended for this person. You may have a children with this person. You may have a family with this person. Um, there, You may have been married to this person. You may have been engaged to this person. You may have lived with this person. You shared something serious with this person. It wasn't a fly-by-night situation. And with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords, someone here is really looking at the pain that they caused in the past. They're missing someone. They're saying, man, you know, I miss how this person was. I miss that, that strong soul tie connection. Um, I miss, you know, you may have been twin flames with this person and that's why it didn't work out. Maybe there was really bad fighting because with the 10 of swords, that's a lot of betrayal. That's an ugly, ugly, ugly ending. Um, with the Knight of Cups and the Hanged Man, um, I feel like someone here has waited for quite some time before this apology has come in. Okay. Um, quite some time for some of you even up to maybe 12 years um but it's it's been a long time 10 to 12 years maybe okay um but i feel here gemini that someone's looking back and saying man i shouldn't have you know i that, it, that was really bad the way things ended and i've never forgotten you you know what i'm saying i've never forgotten the love that we shared um tell me about the ten of cups here for gemini Queen of Wands in the reverse, Leo Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. I feel like someone here allowed their anger, their, their you know, low self-esteem, their their jealousy, their, their need to control. They allowed that to destroy this connection instead of just showing the love that they had instead of just showing the love that they had. Tell me about the three of wands here for Gemini. We've got the page of wands in the reverse. Someone here may have uh, made it look like they didn't care, like life is fine without you, but it's a lie. This person's never stopped missing you. Tell me about the ten of swords and the six of swords. I feel like Gemini, I feel like Gemini, someone here, wants to put the past in the past and say, you know, can we move on from this? <coughs> can we, you know, have peace with one another? And with the um, Hermit here, the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, I feel like there's going to be this shocking situation, you know, that's coming in of somebody saying, hey, you know, I mean, how, do you still love me? You know, do, do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you still care about me? Do you still have any feelings at all? With the, not, the Seven of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords, um, I feel like there is stress here. When someone revisits the past, I feel like it's going to stress this person out. Um, honestly, I feel like one person here is going to, because this is the person that has seen this person's ugly and you can't unsee someone's ugly, you know, you, you can't unsee that side of them. Tell me about the challenge here. Tell me about the challenge, please. Tell me about the challenge. 
Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, the Knight of Cups, and the Empress in the reverse. So the challenge here is that someone is being honest and coming forward and wanting to apologize. But with the Empress in the reverse, I feel like someone feels like they've got nothing to give to the situation. Yeah, I, I feel like someone's like, well, I don't know what you want from me now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Someone here may be committed and is like, well, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do for you. You know, um, someone here is just like, I've got nothing to give to this. I, I appreciate the apology. But tell me about the outcome here for Gemini. <coughs> tell me about the outcome here for Gemini. The outcome here for Gemini. The outcome for Gemini. So, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, and the High Priestess. So, I feel like someone here, again, is coming in secretly, okay? Someone here is trying to keep this a secret. Because with the King of Wands Energy, this person has a reputation to maintain. And they don't want anyone to know, okay? Queen of Cups, I feel like someone doesn't want the world to know that they still carry a flame for this person okay i feel like someone is gonna you know make a very impulsive and reckless decision to just jump in and message someone and with the four of cups um i don't feel like it's gonna be taken i feel like someone here might already be in a relationship i feel like someone might already be in a relationship but it is important to note that I feel like the message here is this person's like, ever since we broke up, yeah, I've flirted, yeah, I've been with other people, but I've never shared anything like what we had, you know? All right, Gemini, I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye, loves.